Oh, um, my name is Teresa Henderson. He was trying to say Teresa Nepetebo, which is my maiden name. <clears throat> I, I am from Tataskra Cree Nation. Um, my parents were both residential school survivors. <clears throat> uh, my dad went to um, Elkhorn. He was four years old when he, when he was taken. He was four years old when he was taken and he never saw a home until he was 16. My mom, I don't know where she went. Um, we lost our mom when we were very young. She was also part of the missing and murdered. <clears throat> she was murdered out in Edmonton when I was eight. Um, my siblings and I, we are all residential school survivors. All of my siblings went to Dauphin. Mackay, Mackay stood in residence, and I went to Toulon. That was not our choice. We did not choose Toulon, but that's where we were sent. I was 14. <clears throat> in Toulon, we experienced a lot of racism, a lot of um, harassment from the other students, the main the mainstream students. And we also ra experienced racism and from the community. So that's the only place we were at was at the residence or at the school. We didn't really go out and about. Toulon, however, is not recognized as a residential school. I am a residential school survivor, but I am not recognized. There's thousands of other students that are not recognized. We experienced abuse. We experienced racism. We were away from our family. We were away from our parents, our grandparents. <clears throat> we fought. We fought hard to be recognized, myself and other students. <clears throat> um, we lost. Thank you. I still say we are survivors. Um, when the 215 remains were found of the young children and babies, I was working out in Shimadwa. I am a MKO crisis response worker, and I was out in Shimadwa. And when that story came out, I was away from my family, but I was thinking of my dad because he was four years old when he was taken. I'm glad that he made it home, but I prayed for those, the families and those children that did not come home, and I continue my prayers. But being away from home, it was hard. I thought, I'm raising my grandson, he's 11. And that's who I kept thinking of, like, I wanted to be with him. But we were working with children, so that helped. That helped us while I was out there working. Especially when um, a rainbow came out and another little girl took my hand and it felt comforting. And I think she sensed that I needed comforting. And I, I thanked her for holding me, thank her for holding my hand and acknowledging. So we, I don't know, we went on with our day, like it kind of took the pain away, but I, it's still there. Um, I want to thank everyone for listening to me and for the opportunity to speak, I have not spoken before about my experience, not in public anyway, with friends and family I have. It was it, and then the last one.